So we'll just scan it to see if we've caught this squirrel before, which this one we haven't. Okay, so it's a new squirrel. It's a new squirrel. And then we just cover the head. Uh, and why, just to keep why it, do you cover the head? Does that keep it calm as well? Just keep it calm. It's the same with any animal. Just keep it uh, sort of in the dark. Um, then it can't see us and it's obviously uh, just muffles the sound a little bit. Okay. So Dave's just checking for uh, parasites there. Can you see any, any at the moment, Dave? Nothing. Nope, yeah. nothing. Nope. So what we're going to do next, measure its tibia, which gives us an idea of its age again. So that's its um, leg bone. And that's... It's leg bone, yeah, it's shin bone. That way from there, from the knee to the ankle. So what's next? Next we're going to take a blood sample through a needle and syringe. Okay. Um, Get out that of the way, way of your equipment it's all right. around here. And we use that to look uh, for evidence of DNA of the virus and also in the smears we'll look for uh, blood parasites and look at the white cells and probably the most important we'll look at uh, looking for pox virus antibodies to see if these squirrels have been previously exposed um, to the virus. What we do next is we need to trim the fur on the leg. So why do you do that? We do this so we um, can prepare the sort of site where we're going to take the blood from um, aseptically so we can get rid of bacteria by using just uh, a spirit swab because um, we don't want to introduce any infection at this size. Right. I mean you can see it's, it's vein can't you? It's, it's quite a big vein uh, really for such a small animal um, and I think that's because of uh, we've got a lot of, they're a climbing animal, we've got a lot of muscle on the bat legs and hence that needs a, uh, a lot of, uh, or a good blood supply um, that way. The only downside to that is sometimes it can bleed a little bit afterwards. Right, so do you, do you hold on to them and wait, wait till the blood's clotted? Yeah. yeah, normally it's just a case of sort of a couple of minutes or so. All right, Dave, thank you. You all right just to hold on to yeah, that there course. and I'll pop the blood into it. There we go, that's that. If you just shut the top, that would be great. And we'll just take the smears as well. Just a little spot of blood on the slides and then we can smear it to have a look at the cells in the blood and uh, if there's any blood parasites. The slides you use, you put those straight under the microscope and look for blood parasites and then all of the DNA work goes on the blood that's in the tube. Yeah, that's exactly right, yep. Yeah. Just needs a little bit longer. So, time to let this one go? Yep, yeah, yeah we're all ready, okay. stop bleeding. If I can let it go there. Okay, I'll move out of the way. I'll just move out of the way. Where he goes. There we go.